Okay, so I'm on to the next video. This one's going to be fixing the Daz character eyes. I'm actually going to be doing something quite similar, if not just like what someone else had done in a previous video, where I found out how to do it, except for his was part of a much longer video. So I'm just going to just make a short video focusing on the eyes. So as you can see, they are quite white. So what you do, as far as the eyelashes, I can see the eyelashes. Now for the eyelashes, we pretty much do exactly what you did in the previous one. That picture right there, you find that from the devs. You highlight the eyelashes, find out where the picture is, and you just brighten it up. I'm not really going to do that right now because I think they actually look okay. Uh, no thanks. I mean, you can see them. But I'm focusing on the eyes. So the eyes come in as... Okay, that's kind of weird. Alright. So what you want to do for the eyes is click on this main one. You want to change it from opaque to translucent. From opacity, drag up from that and put in a constant. and set that value to 1. Yeah, let's let it load up, but it's still going to be white. But that one doesn't really matter. It's white and all my other ones too. Alright, so then we got the pupils. Sorry about that. Same thing bring this down here like normal back up here switch this from opaque translucent opacity constant with a value of oh, not like that one apply do 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 come on save packages come on Hurry up, I ain't got all day. Alright. Sorry, I'm trying to make it as quick as possible because I know what it's like to have to skim through a video. See, it's looking a little bit different. Pupils, face, lips, teeth. The sclera or sclera, whatever it is. Here's your sample, bring this in. That's actually the same one from the last time. Switch this. Uh, highlight the, the main bar. Switch from blend mode opaque to translucent. And constant with a value of 1. Speaking of translucent, the boy season 2 is coming out on Friday. Can't wait for that. I've been going through season 1 right now, so... <laughs> Whenever <laughs> I see the word translucent, I can't help but think about translucent. Anyways, hoping not to bore you here. I'm trying to just go through this and show you how to do it fairly quick. Texture sample, let's bring this down here. I don't know why they always load up way up there twisted. Alright, and as per usual, irises, opaque, translucent capacity constant with a value of 1. Apply. And save. Come on, save. Alright, see that looks better already. Actually, that looks really good. I might actually not want to do any more work on that. See if I've got the reflections. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe I should just call that good. Eye moisture, if you really want to mess with it, which I don't think you have to. I didn't notice that that kind of turned out how I wanted it before. So, 
Yeah, let's not worry about eye moisture. Because that looks really good. Yeah, it's got the reflection of everything. So as you can see. Nope. See, that looks pretty sweet. See how quick and easy that was? Just a couple little settings. That's all you had to do. Now, you know, provided that, you know, you have your actual textures load in to go with it. If they don't, you can do that thing from Dev Studio before. Uh, I think I closed it out. Yeah, I closed it. Other words I'd show you, but if you watch the one I did for um, bringing in the Dev character. Oh, no, it was for the hair. Yeah, if you watch the one for the hair, then you'll see what I'm talking about, about how to bring it up in the surfaces tab and find out where the actual file is on your folder. And uh, then you can download it. Well, you can just copy it, drag it right into Dev, into Unreal 4 and where you need it, and then you can just apply it from there. But I think that looks pretty pretty good. So you see how that was quick, easy, painless. Um, I just figured I'd do one, you know, because there's a lot of people that do videos that show about fixing the eyes but they're like really long videos and they're part of other videos and then you have to like if that's all you're looking for you have to skim through it back and forth try to find it so I figured I'd just do a nice quick short and easy one just focusing on fixing the dad's eyes and this is a Genesis 3 character I'm assuming the Genesis 8 probably do the same thing not 100% sure because I spent all my money for the Genesis 3 and I'm not gonna spend all that much more money just to do the exact same stuff for Genesis 8 so although on the plus side Genesis 8 does come in an Apos but let's here let's save her up I noticed I don't think my hair was done on this one no it wasn't I wasn't using the same same file version as I did for the hair video, which I probably should have. <coughs> but I had two of them open and they were both tutorial projects and I guess I didn't open that one. <laughs> okay, so that's how you fix the eyes. I hope you all have a great day and I will check you later. Bye. Alright, and here is what it looks like with the eyes fixed and the hair fixed. Now this is actually my Vicky from my main project. I see the eyes got a nice shine to them. Hair is nice and filled out. So, yeah. I think that worked out pretty good. Hope you all find this video useful. You all have a good one and I will check you later. Bye.